Uh, but doing a study through the book of Proverbs is to lead ourselves in a place of prayer. And we'll be in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 12 for a while. And we're still not going to dwell on that for, for some time here. Uh, we're looking at uh, first uh, John chapter 5, uh, chapter 2, <laughs> verse 15, 16. And today we're going to finish up with verse 16, you know, verse 17, actually before we run back to Timothy and get back to Proverbs again, you know, verse 17 says, you know, after talking about the things that are the, um, the, the things that can take us away from God, you know, the friendship with the world that can take us away from God, you know, and it has I liked it what that meant, you know, which is the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes and the pride of life, you know, it goes in and tells us that the world is passing away. <laughs> All the things we're crave for, we're lost for, they are temporal. The Bible says <laughs> that, that, that the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are not seen are the permanent things, are the permanent things. He says that we should cast our affection on the things that are above, not the things that have been at. Because the things that have been at are passing away. They are temporal. They are only good enough for this life. Paul was writing to Timothy. He says the physical exercise profited little. You know, profited little. It's good. It's good. It's good. But it's just for the now. It's just for the now. Pro bodily exercise profited little. But uh, godliness is profitable in all things. All things. It's profitable in all things. It's profitable in the physical exercise itself. It's profitable beyond the physical exercise itself. It says godliness is profitable in all things. Right? Bible says that the world is passing away. The thing you want to kill yourself for is passing away. It doesn't life more than this lifetime. Even in this lifetime, it fades in glory. It fades in glory. Why you are all strong? <laughs> you can wear beautiful clothes and all of that. There'll be a time when you won't be able to wear those clothing. They wouldn't fit on you. You'll have strong. You'll be thinking of bigger things, better things than those clothing. Those bling bling you are killing yourself for. That sex you cannot have. You, you seem to like you want to die because of. Right? Your libido level will go down at some point in time. Your, you, it will pass away. They'll become more important things to you. Right, he says these things are passing away. Don't kill yourself because of them. Let your eyes to focus on the bigger things, the bigger things, the bigger things, the more important things, the things that are permanent. Don't miss eternity because of this temporal world. Yes, we're here to have a human experience and we need to have the best of it, but don't miss the more important things because of the temporal things. Yes. That's why Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Look at the things that matter. And the things that matter will provide for you the things that are important that don't matter. Let your priority be right. Let your priority be right. Focus on the things that are weightier. Focus on the things that are weightier. Focus on you, the things that will give you every other thing. Don't focus on the things that, will, that are limited to themselves. Focus on the things that if you focus on, you can have every other thing. It's like God spoke to Solomon. He said, Solomon, you could have asked for your enemies. You could have asked for any other thing, but you chose the right thing. You chose the weightier thing. And because of the, the choice you have made, you will get these other things you did not ask for. Because you chose the right thing, you'll get these other things you did not ask for. Jesus said concerning Mary also, he says, ah, Martha came to complain about Mary and said, ah, God, Jesus, why would you not care that Mary is not helping me? <laughs> Jesus said, Mary has chosen the most important things. The most important thing he has chosen. He has chosen God. He has chosen the center of life. He has chosen the weightier thing. And this cannot be taken away from her. She has prioritized her life. She has prioritized her life. A lot of us don't have priorities in our life. Everything works. They say uh, it's this one. They say it's that one. They say it's this. You know, we have allowed other people's priority to, to be cloud the priorities of our own life. We have allowed our life to be run by other people. We have no vision. We have no destination. So we're just zigzag about life. 
and we wonder why we're depressed because we we have not we have not set our eyes on what is important the weightier matter concerning our life we are not putting our energy our resource our love to get to that place where we want to get to that place that gives us life right we have not set our mind we have not resolved about getting to the promised land therefore we're just wasting energy dissipating energy dissipating energy Mary chose the most important thing. In, in she chose God. She chose her time with God. She chose her fellowship with God. She knew that every other thing could be taken care of later. If I can get this right, it will help me in the other issues of my life. Right? Solomon knew that if she can, he can get wisdom. He can get the ability to do that which God has asked him to do. Every other thing will follow. Jesus Christ says, seek ye first the kingdom. The kingdom. Seek it first to do the will of the Father. Seek it first to be right with the Father. Every other thing will be provided for you. Let's pray. So we're just looking at First John chapter 2, verse 17. And it says, and the world is passing away. <laughs> says the world is passing away. All that we see is temporal. Mm. Fading away. We ourselves are also fading away. We'll, this is not eternity. We are here for a certain time span. It's a limited time span. We're not here forever. Forever is on the other side of death. On this side of death, there's a time limit. So for some people, it's short. For some people, it's medium. For some people, it's long. For some people, it's extended. But we all have a certain amount of time that we have been given to spend here. We're not here forever. And whatsoever we do with that time will determine what our forever will be like. We're not assured what that time is. So it's for us to make the best of every single day, every single moment, every single opportunity that we have. And sometimes what we do with every opportunity determines even how long we're here. You know, God will look down and say, you know, Jesus gives us a parable. He tells us that the that God is the is the is the uh, is the uh, how does he put it now? Says his father is the vine is the vine dresser. He comes to that vine and sees that there's no fruit. Says, cut it off, cut it off. He's wasting the land. Cut it off. God says about that rich man who, after his crop produced more, said, "Oh, let my heart now rest, so I can build more barn. I will get more product in." God says that very night, a decision was made concerning his life. He says, this fool, this very night, your life will be taken away from you. So sometimes even what we do here determines how long we'll live. Even though it, there's a determined time, there's also a decision time. The Bible talks about the fact that the, 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 the seventh commandment is the commandment with a promise. The first commandment with a promise. It says, honor your father and mother so that your life will be long. Your life will be long. Your life will be long. And when he's saying long, he's also talking about breath. It's, it's the length and the breath of life. When we honor our parents, when we honor authority figures in our life, we know our life is sweet. Our life is quality. Our life is seasoned. Our life is long. Our life is 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 worth it. We 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 have what we call the good life, right? Because of what we did. So so there is a place where there's an, an amount of time we've been given to be here. There's also a place where what we do determines how long our life is. Psalm 91, I believe, the last verse says, it, 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 it blesses us with long life. It's a blessing from the Father. But it's a blessing. But that blessing is not automatic. It's a, it's a result of what we do ourselves. When we use well what he has given us, then he wants to give us more. When we don't use well what he has given us, it says that even which we have will be taken away from us. You know, so it's a call for us to make the best of every opportunity that we have, the life that we have, every bread that we have. Let's use it. Let's optimize it, you know, for God. Let's optimize it for the reason why we're here. Let's optimize it that the, the one who gave to us can look there and say, mm, 
Let me give him more. Let me give her more because she has used the world that which I have given, you know? So, but, but again, going back to the basic word, it says this word is passing away. You know, Paul was writing, he says that we should focus on the things that are permanent, focus on heaven, where we are going to. Let's not put our focus on earthly things here, which just temporal and we're passing away. Our focus needs to be in heaven. If we focus on heaven, we're going to have earth also. If we focus on earth, we might miss heaven. If we focus on heaven, where we're going to, God will give us the earth in addition. If I focus on earth here, we might miss heaven. And when we focus on heaven, God might give us the earth here in addition. If I focus on earth here, we might miss heaven. That's why Jesus Christ said, he says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. When you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, it's every other thing. Every other thing will be given to you. Every other thing will be added to you. You say, all things are yours. Paul begins to write. If all things are yours. God is not limited. The Bible says that if he can give his own son for us, how much more will he give every other thing for us? God is not, only, not, not the one that is our, our, our bottleneck. We are our bottleneck because of our focus. We we'll focus on God. God is willing, ready to open the windows of heaven unto us. May that be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead, ma'am. Mm, it's a blessing that makes rich and add no sorrow. That's God mm. for us. Yeah. And that's it. we need to seek Him yes. while He may be found. Yes. While He may be found. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. La as, as much as I was so engrossed with many things yesterday, mm. I had a prayer meeting and Bible study where I needed to connect. Mm. And as I was just doing that, mm. that was when the enemy came in and started telling different stories. You are supposed mm. to be. Yeah, that's, I'm not, this is where I'm supposed to be. Ah. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, no more. You know, if you are not. So I decided to stay mm. in the area where I'm supposed to be. Mm. And I stood there. I have prepared to be there. And I found myself there. Mm. I knew I was tired. Mm. I was supposed to be up okay. there. But notwithstanding, I stayed. I stayed in the area where I was supposed to be. Mm. And as at the time we were finishing, the sleep just catch me on my way. Mm. And I slept off there. Mm. It was the sleep that my children also saw. One of them just said, why is mommy doing this? Why is she not going? Inside of me, I just felt, this one should not understand what mm -hmm. brought me here. What I so it's like, Seek you for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing will be added unto you. Absolutely. So I don't know why human beings decide to be seeking self-satisfaction against mm -hmm. the will of God. If we are supposed to be at this place, at this time, the mm -hmm. only prayer I pray is that the enemy of our calling will not share us from where we are supposed to be in the Lord, in Jesus' name. Because mm -hmm. it's roaring. Like a roaring lion. And what is he looking for? He's seeking to devour. Yeah. It's the devourance technique yeah, of so. the enemy. So yeah, we so. won't give ourselves to the enemy to devour. Yes. That's why we rather want to be where he is. Yeah. He's a dwelling place. Mm -hmm. If I had given myself to sleep when I'm not supposed to sleep, probably that is where I will be dreaming negative dreams. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. The grace that I pray for all believers is that we will not shine away from where we want us to be yeah. at every point of our time. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I mean, it's all about being in the will of God. It's all about oh. being in the will of God, the will of the Father. Jesus Christ said, you know, the, 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 what disqualified those he spoke about in Matthew 7 is because they did not do the will of God. It's not how I feel. It's not what I think. It's what is the will of God. Yeah. You know, it's the will of God. That needs to be our motivation, our driving force. 
is making the father happy, making the father pleased. That is what's important. You know, uh, John sent his disciples to Jesus and said, ah, are you the one to come or should we expect another? <laughs> Jesus Christ said, ah. Jesus Christ is not answering him directly. He said, you people, see, have you seen what is happening around here? Go and tell, go and tell John. It's not about me fitting into your mold. It's about me doing the will of the Father. What is the will of the Father concerning me? You might not like what I do. You might not like the way I do it. But what's, that's not as important as me doing the will of the Father. It's the will of the Father. God will back you up if you do the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. That's all the Father is after. You're doing his will. Yeah. You're you are doing his will. You're doing what he has asked you to do. To do. Not Nothing the, else than that. Fancy is doing the will of the Father. <laughs> May God help our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Excellent. Have a great evening today, man. You too. Bless you. <laughs> See you tomorrow, God willing. Amen. All right. God bless you, man. Okay. Shalom. Yeah.